Same shape. But circulation. Uh, I forgot to tell okay. it today. So the ones that I wanted you to see around the head sorry, were the efferent brachial arteries. So like I said, third and fourth are fused. So here's one, two, three, and four. See? Okay. Nice and clean, clear. Um, and then, and then you go further down, and you can see how it splits off in a bunch of different directions. Um, so this one is uh, the dorsal aorta going this way, because you can see it going towards the rest of the body. Mm -hmm. You have the celiac artery, which should be this one right here. This big one going downwards. Mm -hmm. And this one is just going to the organs, right? Mm -hmm. Well, so these guys go to the organs. So here's the celiac. You can see it going straight down to the organs. And then you see this one that's actually been cut. Mm -hmm. This one actually goes to the pectoral fins. Where does that connect to? The pectoral fins. This one oh, okay. is the left subclavian artery. <laughs> and I think that's my Anyway. <gasps> Ew, really? Yeah. Somebody else found a one. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> okay. So basically, you need to know the artery, the name, like left subclavian, dorsal aorta, and celiac artery. And you need to know where they go to. Since you guys were here, um, so you know here you can see the heart. Since you guys might want to see it, um, this right here that's the ventricle. At top you see the black part that's the atrium, and then the bulbous arteriosus is right here, the one in the front. Yeah, and then you can actually see the ventral aorta going up that way. But yeah, don't worry about trying to find the, um, the afferent arteries. They're not going to be dyed because low oxygen. Oh, okay. So um, you might want to get a picture of this because this is actually the blood flow of where it goes. Did you get a 